How's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so I'm planning for this one to be a short one today, mostly because I'm not feeling brilliantly well. Um, I'm hoping it's because, so as some of you know, I suffer from some chronic pain conditions, one of which like affects my chest um, and my ribs in particular. Um, I do take a steroid based nasal spray for it to keep the inflammation down um, so that it is less painful, but obviously because we're in lockdown at the moment and I'm not having to run around in work, um, I thought now would be a good time to experiment and see if maybe there is an element of stress to, to the pain. Um, certainly physical stress to the pain from all running around and doing work. So I was like, okay, I'm going to take myself off the medication um, for a few days, and, well, for a week, and um, see how it kind of affects me. Um, my ribs are actually hurting at the moment. <laughs> um, I started retaking the spray a couple of days ago. Um, and I'm feeling unwell now. Um, and because I suspect that allergies play a huge part in the inflammation um, process, I'm hoping this is just an allergic reaction because my windows have been open and obviously there is starting to be pollen in the air now because it's that sort of time of year. So I'm hoping this is sort of a my version of a hay fever thing, um, not anything more serious than that, but I started feeling, uh, well, I uh, <laughs> I woke up um, night before last with a coughing fit. Now, um, I used to get them quite a lot uh, when my ribs were quite bad uh, before I went on the medication, so that is almost definitely to do with that, um, but I spent most of yesterday basically not feeling really well and I'm not sure if that was sort of a knock-on effect from that. Um, I've woken up this morning and I go through bouts of feeling fine and then feeling not great. So um, fingers crossed this is just me going back onto medication after taking a week off of it or an, uh, an allergy thing or just a normal, because I get a lot of colds and stuff anyway. Um, I'm, I'm, not overly susceptible to them but you know because uh because i i do get quite run down because i don't sleep properly um i am more inclined to notice when i pick up a mild cold or whatever so i'm hoping this is a normal standard uh i'll be all right okay again in a few days kind of thing and you know not anything more serious um or anything like that uh, in 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 theory it shouldn't be um because i live on my own i'm only going out um for uh for food um i'm not coming into contact with anybody as much as possible um i'm you know pretty good at uh pretty good at this whole self-isolation thing um you know even uh, i even do my exercise inside i am yes i'm getting exercise and i'm having my window open so i've got fresh air coming in um i'm not an outside person anyway i mean i'm missing it a little bit because i've got all this free time and it'd be nice to like you know go for a walk and sit out in the sunshine because you know that is something that i do enjoy doing sometimes although i don't really like the sunlight because i get a lot of headaches and stuff like that so like i said i don't think it's anything to be particularly worried about at this sort of stage um you know it is it's you know the feeling like there is nothing completely out of the ordinary for me and probably as i said down to taking myself off of my medication and putting myself back on the medication <laughs> just just i mean to be fair it was more a case of i think i'd forgotten to take it um a few times just on like random days and uh I was kind of like, well, you, you know what, if I have sort of like forgotten to take it here and there and it's not really had that much of an effect and I'm not sort of running around a lot, I'm in a controlled environment at the moment, so let's see, uh, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> was, was not great. I'm really glad that, you know, I, I don't have to, to go back and worry about working um, at the moment, um, so hopefully 
hopefully next month I will be back to, to work like normal. Um, for right now, yeah, it is, uh, it's that kind of situation and that kind of nicely moves me on to what I guess topic of this one will be uh, as brief as it is going to be um, and that is my roundup of April. <laughs> so April was interesting guys, I spent a lot of time inside editing, um, I've also spent a lot of time like reviewing books and I've done various vlogs about these things. Um, I also got into Star vs. the Forces of Evil, I've now watched it all the way through once and I'm about halfway through watching it again because I got to the end and I was just like I, I want I want more of this if, if for no other reason than because that opening theme song is just the best <laughs> so yeah I'm about halfway through um going through that again and uh yeah it's uh it's been an interesting month it's it's so weird it doesn't feel like it's been as long as it has been since the last time I set foot in New York. Um, since the last time I socialised with anybody. I mean, I know like 90% of my socialisation was in work, but you know, I, I was having like my mum come over at least once once a week or once every other week, depending on you know whatever was happening, her end of things. Uh, it's it's weird. It's really weird. Like, I mean, I'm an introvert, so I can make do with this sort of situation, but like, no introvert is 100% on their own like this all the time. So, I wouldn't necessarily say I was feeling particularly lonely. I'm like keeping in regular messenger contact with people, um, phone chats, and, and stuff like that with people. So, I'm not completely out of touch with the rest of the world, but, uh, yeah, April was a, April was a fairly, fairly lonely month, um, I think is, is a good summary of, of how that kind of was, um, yeah, um, as I said, I'm not feeling brilliantly well, um, so even though I could probably go on and talk about, like, a whole lot of other stuff, I would much rather call that it <laughs> for this one and hope that by the time I come around to having to film the next one next week I will be feeling a lot better um so yeah um thanks for watching guys I'm sorry this one has been so short and you know not very pointing pointful point no. yeah whatever <laughs> I'm sorry that this one has been this one. Um, I hope we'll hope we'll be looking forward to seeing if I'm better next time. There's no reason I should be better next time, um, in all seriousness. So uh, hopefully I'll be more interesting next time and actually, you know, doing a proper length on one of these. Uh, so yeah, see ya. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!